What's up, y'all? Savaski with Savaski's Electrical. So, uh, I'm feeling this 400 amp service here. Uh, for a long time, I've been uh, in the books. Been doing this for a few years now. And I always tell people, man, I put down the books for, for me to build my career, right? So, for a long time, I've been trying to see when I can uh, come out and speak the language of electrical, right? Uh, and I want to just go ahead and basically come through and ex explain what's going on with this 400 amp service. All right, I'm going to uh, basically explain what's happening from left to right, okay? Everything that's happening right here, it's a lot going on. So let me break it down, okay? This is a service being built for Slimco Power, right? So Slimco requires us, if we're going over 200 amps on a service, it requires to put this... CT can. So this is a CT can with a current transformer inside. Current transformer inside that basically reads the wire and that's how you get your metered service in the meter box. Right? This is a meter box and it's basically going to read from this current transformer. Okay? Then we're going to shift over from that current transformer box and go straight to this 400 amp disconnect. Okay? 400 amp disconnect. This is a three-phase disconnect because that's all the supply house would supply. But all we're using in here because of the fact that it's a, a residential service is single phase. So we got our two hots and a neutral. And that's it. And we got our grounding, number two grounding. Okay. So wire size in this box is a 350 MCM. 350 MCM. What's the 350 MCM? Well, it's a wire size to um, basically carry the amperage of a maximum of 350 amps. 350 to 375 is the maximum carry, okay? So, next we're gonna shift over and explain what's going on at this bottom right here. This is a trough basically to be able to make like a distribution of the power to send the power to each disconnect. So we got two 200 amp disconnects that comes off of this 400. 200, 100, 100, I mean, excuse me, 200, 200 equals the 400. Inside here is our connections with two alt wiring. Each one of these boxes is going to feed each of a uh, panel box. It's going to feed a 200 amp panel box that's more than three feet away from here, which is way on the other side of the house. We turn this disconnect on, and that basically sends power to one dis one panel box inside. Okay, we got this other disconnect, which is the second disconnect. We got two alt wiring inside. We got our line. We got our line coming in. And this is our load going out, headed, shooting to these other panel boxes inside. Okay, at the bottom here, the disconnects. The disconnects comes from the top, and basically we're looking up our feeder with these Polaris blocks. So Polaris, Polaris distribution block. This is our neutral leg, this is our one hot leg, and this is our second hot leg. Okay. And then we got our grounding. We got two ground rods in the ground. Basically, the uh, surface is going to be fed from this pole here. We're going to have a transformer that's going to be somewhere here that's going to bring power all the way to here. Okay. And that's my 400 amp disconnect. And that's my 400 amp service. I hope I explained this pretty good. I hope my language sounds and makes sense no i'm not a play electrician i'm a real electrician this is for real um for many years we've powered up houses across the board and that's what we do and that's what i love that's my primary it comes down to electrical i know what's going on all right y'all that's my explanation of a 400 amp service